There are some cases, especially in the upper premolars, wherein you're doing a root canal treatment, uh, the curvature of the, uh, uh, of the pellet uh, uh, prevents you p from putting the film properly, or the sensor. What do you do in this case? I'll show you what to do. You use a cutter roll. You place the cutter roll on the exposure side of the, of the film, okay? And then you will see one, suppose I'm doing the for, for the premolars, one, once you reach the premolars, okay? Just place the sensor in a way so that the cutter roll the two millimeter rule still applies. The cutter roll will be placed between the sensor and the teeth. Now, this, this relation, this is, this will be against the crowns. And see, this is the crown over here. This is a beautiful way to make the film and the teeth almost parallel, okay? Let me show you how it looks from inside. This is how it looks. This is for the premolars. And if you want it for the molars as well, you can extend it the same way. Second molar. Now, if you, if you have a look here, see the, the, uh, the uh, film and the uh, of the sensor and the film are almost parallel. The idea behind this is that uh, if you place a cutter roll in between, it almost becomes parallel. And this will help by reducing the angle, decreases the chances of uh, elongation. See, this is the normal relationship. But if you place the uh, cutter roll, you reduce the angle, you make it approximate it more towards the parallel technique. It helps in certain uh, conditions in which the, uh, in cases of a white pellet, it, if you place the cutter roll uh, in between, uh, let me present it again, white pellet, very white pellet, in the normal condition, okay? If you place the cutter roll you can bring it more so it will be more parallel and you decrease your angulation. And of course, you follow accordingly, just like the same rules, perpendicular on tooth, perpendicular on film, and then midway.